Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. After the druid Getafix has an accident, Asterix goes on an adventure through Europe in search of a new disciple to learn how to make the magic potion, facing the Roman legions and a super powerful sorcerer who wants to steal the secret formula. Today we will recap the story from the 2018 movie, Asterix and the Secret of the Magic Potion. In the Carnutes forest on the outskirts of the village, Getafix is collecting the ingredients for his secret potion when a baby bird falls out of its nest and gets its foot caught in one of the branches. To save the little bird, the druid climbs the trees and begins to glide from one trunk to the other as if he were Tarzan himself. However, he still can't get there in time and the bird ends up falling from the branch, forcing the old man to throw his scythe, which works like a boomerang, catching the bird and bringing it back to his hand at the last second. Getafix then puts the bird back in the nest with his brothers and sisters and prepares to climb down, but before the druid can even say goodbye, the branch he is on breaks, causing him to fall flat on the ground. Near the forest, Asterix and Obelix are trying to catch some wild boars when they spot the body of the druid on the ground, approaching to see if everything is okay. Ashamed to admit what has happened, Getafix says he is meditating and tries to get up to go home, but his ankle was broken during the fall and now he has to be carried back to his hut. Refusing to accept what has happened, Getafix refuses the residence's food and Asterix is forced to enter the house without the druid's permission to convince him that this is something normal, but he insists that this is a bad sign and that it is time to look for a successor to pass on the recipe for the magic potion. Asterix argues that there is no young druid in the village and that they will have to look elsewhere, only he does not like the idea of someone from another region being responsible for protecting the village and the secret of the formula at all. Still, Getafix stands firm in his decision and sends a group of boars to arrange a meeting of the Council of Druids, as well as convincing Asterix to serve as his bodyguard while he searches for a successor. After a long journey across the country, the boars finally find the other druids and summon them to the council meeting, however, a cub gets lost from the group and falls off a cliff, ending up in an apparently abandoned hut where Demonix receives the message. When the day of the great meeting comes, the citizens try to convince Getafix to teach the formula to one of the young people of the village, but he replies that the knowledge can only be passed on to another druid and sets off into the woods. As soon as they arrive in the forest, Getafix shows a sign that forbids non-druids to enter and asks Asterix and Obelix to wait there, but since he cannot stand the pain in his ankle, he needs someone to carry him to the council. At that moment, Asterix hears a strange sound coming from inside the cauldron and approaches to investigate, finding the young pectine sleeping inside the container. Since the forest of the druids also does not allow women to enter, Asterix and Obelix begin to argue about whether they should go back or move on, which leaves the girl quite frightened. To calm her down, Getafix approaches Pectine and sees that the object in her hands serves perfectly as a wheel for his chair, attaching it to the wooden structure and making the girl push it into the forest while the warrior duo waits outside. To prevent Pectine from being discovered, the druid removes his cloak and gives it to her to hide her hair, and asks her to change her voice every time she speaks to someone. In this way, they enter the meeting room where the other druids begin to mock Getafix for falling from the tree. Not understanding what is going on, he asks if his friends got his message, and the elders reveal that the boars only mentioned the fact that he had broken his ankle, completely ignoring the part about choosing a new successor. Now that they know the reason for the meeting, the council of druids sits down at the table and everyone is afraid that the potion will fall into the wrong hands, but Getafix replies that this is exactly why he called the meeting, to ask for a list of all the Welsh druid apprentices so that he can find a replacement. Although this is a good idea, the elders reply that they do not have a list, but several sheets with the names of each of the candidates, separated into piles ranging from the very bad apprentices to the very good ones. At this moment, Demonix appears and uses his forbidden magic to paralyze one of the druids, leaving everyone else frightened and anxious for him to leave soon. Noticing the heavy atmosphere, Pectine goes to the highest point of the forest and sends a signal to the warriors outside. Inside, Demonix says that he has come to present himself as Getafix's successor and asks to replace him as protector of the formula, but the other elders say that he has been expelled from the druid council and has no right to apply for the position. Demonix then says that Getafix is a weakling who uses the potion to protect a village of 50 people, and that he could distribute the powers of the elixir to everyone in Gaul and finally defeat the great Roman Empire. Disgusted, he takes one of the sheets and sets it on fire while saying that Getafix will go after young men to teach them to be as selfish as he is, causing the old man to respond with a spray of wine in his face. Furious, Demonix uses his flames and rushes at Getafix, but Asterix appears at the last second and manages to parry the villain's blow, ordering him to retreat. Instead, the man advances on the warrior and tries to use his magic to paralyze him, but since it only works on weak-minded people, it has no effect on Asterix, 
forcing Demonix to stick his finger in the hero's eyes to blind him, creating a gap for him to run towards the exit and mix up all the sheets in the process. At this moment, Obelix also arrives at the meeting room and begins to chase the villain, but just as he is about to finish him off with one punch, Demonix uses his flame magic to paralyze the red-haired warrior, leaving him totally out of combat and allowing the former druid to escape without further trouble. In the council room, Pectine asks who the invader was, and one of the elders tells her that he and Getafix were trained together. But when the day came for the great druid contest, Demonix presented his new flame powder, which left the judges totally impressed. Getafix, on the other hand, decided to take a chance and introduced his levitation powder, allowing him to stack hundreds of stones with a simple snap of his fingers. Although they were also impressed, the judges decided that Getafix's invention was of no practical use, and decided to give the prize to Demonix, as his fire could warm anyone in winter. But as time went on, Getafix developed the magic potion that grants the powers of a god to any human who consumes it, making him one of the most respected druids of all time. On the other hand, the flame dust lost more and more of its usefulness until it was only good for barbecuing, which made Demonix plunge headlong into the dark magic until he was expelled from the council, disappeared soon after and has remained so to this day. Now that he has returned, Getafix is even more determined to find his successor and begins the journey throughout Gaul, but since the tokens have been mixed up, he must go through all the apprentices until he finds one of those in the very good pile. During their trip, they are evaluating a quack druid when the village leader appears accompanied by all the men of the village with the excuse of ensuring that they will choose a good successor, but to do so, they have left the village, the women and children under the protection of a single drunken bard. After the meeting with the council, Demonix sees that the sheet in his hand has not completely burned and decides to use the apprentice for his plan. But before going after him, the old man goes to Rome to negotiate with Julius Caesar. As soon as he sees the druid in flames, the emperor thinks it is an attack and calls out all his guards. However, Demonix is not intimidated by the number of men and reveals that Asterix's village is without any men, saying that this is the perfect opportunity to attack them until the stock of the magic potion runs out. Furthermore, Demonix says that he can supply the formula for the emperor's army if he promises him part of the territory of Gaul, including the part where the forest of the druids is. With the deal done, Demonix asks for an imperial means of transport and heads for the mountains accompanied by Senator Tom Cruise, at the same time as the Roman legion begins the siege of Asterix's village. Knowing that the bard is completely useless, the women take the magic potion and move forward on their own to face Caesar's army, hitting back at the stones thrown from the catapults and mercilessly slaughtering the soldiers. On the other side of Gaul, a young druid named Colurix is perfecting the recipe for a new potion when Demonix falls from a tree behind him and offers to teach him a trick that will impress Getafix, setting off an arduous training session. At the same time, the creator of the magic potion continues to travel around Gaul looking for a successor, but after so many failures, the fisherman or Draufabetics decides to start practicing on his own to become a druid and keep the secret of the magic elixir within the village. Despite his willpower, the fisherman has no effect with his concoctions, until after many attempts, he manages to cause a huge explosion that completely destroys the ship and forces everyone to continue their journey on foot. While Getafix analyzes a druid apprentice who is clearly Caesar's spy, Colurix spends the night perfecting his potion that can make fruit grow faster, but Demonix discourages him from continuing with the invention, saying that it is something too conventional and that he needs to do the trick. Thinking that Demonix's concoction is useless, Colurix says that he cannot present a simple light show in the test, and his new tutor tries to assure him that only this will succeed in impressing Getafix, but as the young man insists that he will make his own potion, Demonix asks him not to mess it up and leaves together with his boar cub. Continuing his search for an apprentice, Getafix goes to visit the druid from the last chart, who is extremely similar to Jesus and can multiply loaves of bread at will, which makes the elder hopeful that he might be a good replacement. While the druid is discussing with Asterix whether to choose him, the senator appears on top of a mountain pretending to be a prophet and talks about Colurix, giving the young man's location and saying that he should be the new apprentice. All this is part of Demonix's plan. After Tom Cruise leaves, Getafix becomes interested in meeting this druid of prophecy and, even though he finds it all very strange, he wants to leave for the mountain. But Asterix is totally against this idea and tries to convince him to return home, saying that they have spent weeks traveling for nothing and that this Colurix guy doesn't even appear on the charts. Still, Getafix stands firm in his decision, and Asterix grows weary of the whole situation, gives up his belongings, and resigns as village warrior. He leaves for home completely alone, since Obelix refuses to go with him. Walking through the woods, Asterix hears some voices and finds Demonix talking to Tom Cruise about his performance as a prophet, but before he can return to tell them that it was all just a trap, 
the Roman soldiers notice his presence and take him to Demonix, who plans to use the young druid to discover the formula for the potion and sell it to the Romans. In the village, after fighting through so many invasions, the women run out of a drop of magic potion and ask the bard what they should do, but since he has no idea what to do, the man suggests that they beg the Romans not to attack anymore. In his hut, Colurix is perfecting his potion when Getafix arrives to test him, asking him to demonstrate his abilities with a potion. When the big time comes, the young man loses confidence in his elixir and decides to do the trick Demonix taught him, placing the ingredients in the cauldron until a great explosion occurs, releasing a great beam of light and hundreds of butterflies into the air. Impressed, Getafix realizes that this is useless and identifies with him when he was younger, approaching Colurix to invite him to be his successor. In the Carnute's forest, Demonix goes to visit his new estate and begins to remember how he was disowned by the Council of Druids, filling himself with rage and causing a spontaneous combustion in his cloak. Trying to help him, the senator rips the cloak off the villain's back and throws it toward the forest, causing a huge fire that begins to destroy the trees. Completely lunatic, Demonix is quite happy about the fire and says that this is perfect as he advances toward the flames, forcing Tom Cruise to hold him back to prevent him from burning. At this point, Asterix wakes up chained to a tree and is soon found by a shepherd who manages to free him from the chains, allowing him to run back to the village at top speed. At the same time, Getafix and the others are arriving home when they realize that the forest has been completely burnt down, including the druid's meeting room, but as he has no time to lose, he begins to pass on the instructions on how to make the potion to his new apprentice. While learning the recipe, Colurix bumps into one of the druid's piles of sacred stone and doesn't bother to put them back in place, piling up the rocks anyway. Noticing this, Getafix notices that there is something wrong with the young man and says that he has already passed all the necessary instructions, but before the young man can ask any questions, Obelix appears with two frightened boars who tell him that the village is under attack and that they don't have a single drop of the potion. Desperate, Getafix sets off back to the village with Obelix and Pectine, but ends up leaving the rest of the men behind, forcing them to move on. In a hurry, the village leader suggests they use the magic potion that Asterix left with them, but Ordralphabetix bumps into the men and drops all the elixir on the ground, leaving everything for the chickens to drink. While running back to the village, Getafix gets the ingredients for the magic potion until he reaches the cliff near where the legion is attacking, but as soon as they reach the place, the bag with the elixir components disappears and Obelix is paralyzed for no apparent reason. Even though he finds everything very suspicious, Getafix has no time to lose and decides to go to his hut to prepare the potions with the ingredients that are stored, using the chair to throw himself in the direction of the village, but as soon as he leaves, Demonix appears with the ingredients and asks Colurix to follow the instructions of the leader of the druids and prepare the magic elixir as soon as possible. Outside the village, the Roman legions realize that the women have not come to attack them and assume that the elixir has run out, starting the next phase of the siege which consists of attacking with all their infantry at once. At the top of the hill, Pectine begs Colurix not to make the elixir in front of the villain, but the young druid ignores the request and lights the cauldron, following the step-by-step -step that Getafix taught him, but when it's time to finish, Demonix realizes that he is missing one last ingredient and starts to freak out, throwing everything he can find into the cauldron, including his flame powder. After all this mess, the potion turns a strange color and Demonix decides to drink it, making his skin glow, allowing him to start bombarding the village with magma rocks. At this moment, the men from the village arrive carried by the super chickens, and both Caesar's army and Demonix begin to attack them, giving Pectine the opportunity to steal the sack with the ingredients and take it to Getafix, who is in his hut discussing with the other druids which potion they should use to defend themselves. Suddenly, Demonix turns on the Roman army and begins to attack everything and everyone, forcing civilians and military personnel to run towards the beach to try to save themselves. Knowing that the villain will not rest until he has finished them all, Getafix decides that he will stay behind and asks Pectine to retrace Colorix's steps to prepare the potion, but says that at the end of the process, she must use the secret ingredient that is hidden in the pommel of his scythe. While Getafix does everything to gain time, Asterix approaches the village and finds Obelix completely paralyzed, causing his friend to wake up from his trance and run headlong into Demonix just as he is about to take the druid's life. At this point, Pectine finally finishes the magic potion and they begin to distribute the doses among everyone, using the power boost to put out the village fire, but while they are throwing buckets of water at lightning speed, Demonix's body falls next to a cauldron of growth potion that transforms him into a colossal, bearded version of Lavagirl. Needing all the power they can get, the druids serve the potion even to the Roman legions, creating an army of superhumans who fly with all their might towards the Colossus of Magma, but this only serves to get them burned. As a last resort, 
Getafix has the idea of using his levitation powder on the entire Roman legion, causing the military to unite into a kind of centaur megazord. Thanks to his body made almost entirely of shields, the Roman giant manages to resist Demonix's magma blows and begins to attack him, grabbing him by the leg and slamming the druid against the ground as if there were no tomorrow. To finish the fight, Obelix enters the shield wall and begins to control one of the arms of the Megazord to deliver a spinning punch, hitting Demonix with full power and sending him flying into space until he hits an asteroid. After the battle, Getafix cancels the effects of the levitation powder and the Roman soldiers decide to return home, letting the village go peacefully for a while. But whenever problems arise, Asterix and Obelix are always on hand to defend the village, as well as Pectine, who can now carry the secret of the magic potion to the next generations. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.